Have you ever dreamed of living in a tropical paradise where the sun is always shining, the people are friendly, and the cost of living is a fraction of what you pay in the US? Well, you're not alone. More and more Americans are packing their bags and moving to this country where they can enjoy a better quality of life, a lower tax burden, and a more relaxed and diverse culture. What country are we talking about? It's Mexico. And in this video, we're going to tell you why it's the top destination for Americans who want to live abroad and what it's like to live there as an expat. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Global Adventures where we explore the world and share our experiences with you. In today's video, we're going to talk about why more and more Americans are moving to Mexico and what it's like to live there as an expat. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let's get started. So why are Americans moving to Mexico? Well, there are many reasons, but here are some of the most common ones. The climate. Mexico has a warm and sunny climate all year round with an average temperature of 22 degrees C, 72 degree F. Whether you prefer the beach, the mountains, the desert, or the jungle, you can find your ideal weather in Mexico. No more harsh winters, no more extreme heat, no more natural disasters. Just perfect weather for outdoor activities, relaxing, and enjoying life. The culture. Mexico has a rich and diverse culture with a long and fascinating history, a vibrant and colorful art scene, a delicious and varied cuisine, and a friendly and hospitable people. You can immerse yourself in the ancient civilizations of the Maya, the Aztec, and the Olmec, admire the colonial architecture and the modern murals, taste the spicy and savory dishes and the sweet and refreshing drinks, and mingle with the locals and learn from their wisdom and humor. You can also celebrate the many festivals and holidays that Mexico has to offer, such as the Day of the Dead, the Cinco de Mayo, the Independence Day, and the Christmas season. The cost of living. Mexico is one of the most affordable countries to live in. A single person can live in Mexico for about USD $1,000 a month, especially compared to the US. According to Numbio, a website that compares the cost of living around the world, the average rent in Mexico is 75% lower than in the US, the average food prices are 60% lower, the average transportation costs are 70% lower, and the average healthcare expenses are 80% lower. This means that you can live comfortably in Mexico with a fraction of what you spend in the US and still have enough money to save, invest, or travel. The visa process. Mexico has a very easy and flexible visa process for Americans who want to live there. You can enter Mexico as a tourist without a visa and stay for up to 180 days. If you want to stay longer, you can apply for a temporary resident visa, which allows you to stay for up to four years and can be renewed or converted into a permanent resident visa. You can also apply for a work visa, a student visa, a retirement visa, or a family visa, depending on your situation and needs. The requirements and fees for these visas are very reasonable and straightforward, and you can find all the information and assistance you need at the Mexican consulate or embassy in your area. The proximity to the U.S. Mexico is very close to the U.S. both geographically and culturally. You can fly from Mexico to most major U.S. cities in less than four hours, or drive across the border in less than a day. This makes it easy and convenient to visit your family and friends in the U.S or to return to the U.S. for business or personal reasons. You can also enjoy the benefits of both countries, such as shopping, entertainment, education, and healthcare. You can also stay connected to the U.S. through the internet, phone, TV, and radio, and keep up with the news, events, and trends that matter to you. Part two. Of course, living in Mexico is not all sunshine and roses, and there are some challenges and drawbacks that you may face as an expat. Here are some of the most common ones. The crime. Mexico has a reputation for being a dangerous and violent country with high rates of homicide, kidnapping, robbery, and drug trafficking. While this is true for some areas and regions, especially near the border and in the big cities, it is not the case for the whole country. Mexico is a large and diverse country. 
with many safe and peaceful places to live, especially in the south and the central parts. You can also avoid or minimize the risk of crime by following some common sense tips, such as avoiding dark and isolated areas, not carrying large amounts of cash or valuables, not getting involved in illegal activities, and being aware of your surroundings and the local laws. The Pollution Mexico has a problem with air and water pollution, especially in the urban and industrial areas. The air quality in Mexico City, for example, is often poor and unhealthy due to the high concentration of vehicles, factories, and fires. The water quality in Mexico is also questionable, and you may get sick if you drink tap water or eat raw fruits and vegetables. You can protect yourself from pollution by wearing a mask, using an air purifier, drinking bottled water, and washing and peeling your food. The Corruption Mexico has a high level of corruption, both in the public and the private sectors. You may encounter bribery, extortion, fraud, nepotism, and favoritism in your dealings with the authorities, the businesses, and the services. You may also face discrimination, harassment, or abuse based on your nationality, race, gender, or sexual orientation. You can avoid or reduce corruption by being informed, respectful, and assertive, and by reporting any incidents or complaints to the appropriate channels. The Language Barrier Mexico's official language is Spanish, and while many Mexicans speak some English, especially in the tourist and expat areas, you may still face difficulties and misunderstandings if you don't speak Spanish. You may miss out on important information, opportunities, and interactions if you can't communicate effectively with the locals. You can overcome the language barrier by learning some basic Spanish, using a translator app, or hiring a local guide or assistant. The Cultural Differences Mexico has a different culture and lifestyle than the U.S., and you may experience some culture shock or adjustment issues when you move there. You may find some aspects of the Mexican culture to be strange, confusing, or frustrating, such as the time management, the personal space, the family values, the social norms, and the etiquette. You can adapt to the cultural differences by being open-minded, curious, and respectful, and by learning from and appreciating the Mexican culture. Despite these challenges, Living in Mexico as an expat also offers many opportunities and advantages that you can enjoy and benefit from. Here are some of them. Learning a new language. Living in Mexico gives you the chance to learn Spanish, one of the most widely spoken and useful languages in the world. Learning Spanish can improve your cognitive skills, your career prospects, your travel experiences, and your personal relationships. You can learn Spanish by taking classes, using apps, watching TV, reading books, and practicing with the locals. Making new friends. Living in Mexico allows you to meet and befriend people from different backgrounds, cultures, and perspectives. You can make friends with other expats who share your interests and challenges, and with locals who can teach you about their culture and lifestyle. You can make friends by joining clubs, groups, events, and activities, or by simply being friendly and sociable. Experiencing a different lifestyle. Living in Mexico enables you to experience a different way of living, one that is more relaxed, flexible, and diverse than the U.S. You can enjoy a slower pace of life, a more balanced work-life ratio, and a more varied and spontaneous routine. You can also explore and discover new places, foods, music, art, and traditions that enrich your life and broaden your horizons. Working remote. Living in Mexico provides you with the opportunity to work remote, either for your current employer or for a new one. You can take advantage of the low cost of living, the favorable exchange rate, and the convenient time zone to save money, increase your income, and optimize your productivity. You can also enjoy the freedom and flexibility to work from anywhere, whether it's your home, a co-working space, a cafe, or a beach. Traveling around the country. Living in Mexico grants you access to a vast and diverse country, with a lot to see and do. You can travel around the country and visit its many attractions, such as the ancient ruins, the colonial towns, the modern cities, the natural wonders, and the cultural festivals. You can also travel to other nearby countries, such as Belize, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Cuba, and experience more of the Latin American region. 
To summarize, living in Mexico as an expat has its pros and cons. But for many Americans, it is a great option to improve their quality of life, lower their expenses, and enjoy a different and diverse culture. Mexico is a beautiful and welcoming country with a lot to offer to those who are willing to embrace it. If you are one of them, or if you are curious about it, we hope this video has given you some useful and interesting information and insights. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about living in Mexico as an expat? Have you ever done it? Or would you like to do it? What are the benefits and challenges that you have experienced or expect to face? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to read your thoughts and stories. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might be interested in this topic. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay tuned for our next video, where we'll show you some of the best places to visit and things to do in Mexico. Until then, take care and see you soon.